Hey, I'm Coach Kozak from Hasfit, and this is another professional exercise demonstration. Everyone has their own opinion when it comes to bench press form. So what I'm going to show you today is the form that works best for me. I've been to a multitude of bench press seminars all across the country, and I'm going to kind of put together all in one package what I've learned from those seminars. So, as far as setup is concerned, is the most important part. Whatever you want, whatever you do, don't just lie down and flop down on the bench. You need to get your setup right first. So, lying back down on the bench, you can either drive off the balls of your feet, or you can put your feet flat and drive off of your heels. But no matter what, you want a good, good base with your feet. Whichever one feels most comfortable to you is the one you're going to want to go with. I personally like to be up on the balls of my feet. So after you get your feet set, you can scoot your body a little bit forward, and that will create a natural little arch in your lower back. You don't want a big arch, just a little bit. Next, with your hands, pull yourself up off the bench and pull your shoulders together, retracting your shoulders, and it's going to bring you another inch up off the bench. This actually helps to engage your lats during the bench press, as well as makes you more stable. So now that we have our setup right, grip. Uh, the wider the grip, the more chest, the narrower the grip, the more triceps. So just for the sake of this demonstration, we're just going to use a medium grip, a little wider than the shoulder width, picking up the bar. Now, the most important part about the actual press is to keep the bar over your elbows. So as you press down, keeping the bar over your elbows, bring the bar to your sternum and back up. And the whole time, driving your feet into the ground. Whether you have your other balls of your feet or you're flat footed, whatever you do, don't dance during the bench. When it gets hard, the worst thing I see people doing is they, they start to dance and move all over. Whatever you do, do not do that. Keep your feet planted in the ground, drive your feet off in the ground, and use that energy to help you press. Use that energy from your legs through the press. When you're all done, do not push it one by one, but instead, put the bar straight back on the rack on both sides and slide it down. If you use the hook method, one time out of a thousand, you're going to miss the hook and you'll be sorry you did. That's the bench press. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this demonstration, make sure you check out Hasfit's website for hundreds of additional free workouts. We have our free meal plans to lose or gain weight, as well as our complete 30 to 90 day fitness programs. Please do me a favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It'll really help keep this great service free. Like us on our Facebook fan page or follow us on Twitter for the best daily motivation. And while you're at it, stop by our store, pick up a poster or a t-shirt, whatever it takes to help you stay motivated and on track. I'm Coach Kozak from Hasfit, and I'll see you at your next workout.